first week of the COP29 climate summit has come to a close and negotiators are still burning the midnight oil to conclude the draft agreements ahead of the ministerial segment from Monday. But despite working past midnight, the talks ended at an impasse with no commitments or concrete decisions on the key issues on Africa's agenda. Our sustainability editor Zainab Wandati has more from Baku, Azerbaijan. Week one of COP29 has ended in what many have termed as failure because some of the decisions that we had expected to see did not come through and the draft text, which is that preliminary document that puts together the policies and the agreements that the negotiators would like to see, those preliminary documents, those preliminary texts are heavily bracketed, which means there's so many brackets in it and this therefore means that every single word in those brackets are heavily contested. Now what this means is that as the week came to an end without agreement or without clarity on those brackets, it means that this document as it is now moves to the ministers and Africa is still very upset by how the week turned out. You recall in Dubai there was the commitment to, to transition away, of course equitably and uh, uh, fairly, from fossil fuel uh, to um, renewables. There was a commitment to triple renewables and there was a commitment to double renewables and a number of other commitments relating to adaptation. Uh, Africa and many other constituencies from the G77 family have been uh, insisting that without commissionate support to rhyme with the mitigation um, actions, we are not in the position to take additional Integration action. So some of the sticky points for the continent include finance, which they've not agreed on. Africa came here with a clear goal that it wants $1.5 trillion non-negotiable. But the, developing, the developed countries that are supposed to offer this finance are not committed on that. Africa also wants commitment to know how much money within what time frame. They are not committing on that. And the second thing that they're failing to agree on is the gender agenda. In fact, this is even worse than finance. The talks in gender even went worse than finance because every single word in the draft text in gender was in brackets. We will call upon all our ministers of uh, heads of delegation, especially from our African group, to be able to take charge and, and, and progress the negotiation for us to get the climate finance or what we've been looking for as, uh, as Africa and as a uh, country, uh, Kenya. We expect that CS Adendwale will arrive here in time to pick up this conversation. Uh, in these past few days, PS Ngeno has been leading the team, Team Kenya, in the absence of CS Adendwale. And so the ministers will sit together and pick up the political process because to complete this COP process and come out with an agreement at the end of the day requires that political impetus, that political will, which is what the ministers will then be bringing to the table. So we wait and see from Tuesday when the ministers sit down what happens next?